You're listening to Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official podcast of Lingerie Fighting Championships. And now, here's your host, Michael Larkin! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official LFC Lingerie Fighting Championships podcast. My name is Mike Larkin, and joining me for a round two is a woman who made her debut at LFC 37 back to the mansion on Valentine's Day with a victory over Ruby the Booty Vuitton 1-0, Miss Ziva Faye. How are you, Ziva? Hi, everybody. <clears throat> it's me here, Ziva Faye, your friendly spider monkey. <laughs> uh, it was really fun. Uh, my first time in, I, I've been in a ring before, but first time with all the lights and the audience fighting. Never, uh, the only audience I've ever had fighting is in, ta- it's, they're called demos in Taekwondo when you like get your black belt or your, your next belt. Right. And it's like everyone's parents and like brothers and sisters, you know? Yep. Like, so that, I fought in front of crowds, but that's, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was like an audience of like people I didn't know, like who paid to be there and like, they were rooting and cheering, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was crazy. It was awesome. It was great. I, like, I was starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I got to say, for your first time, I think you've made LFC history by becoming the first ever debut fighter who won in such a quick time period of 45 seconds against your good friend, Ruby the Booty Vuitton. Let's talk about this bout here, because you guys had a nice little exchange in the beginning, then you locked her in that rear naked choke, and you got the tap out submission. Yeah. Talk about the Yeah. Well, um... I'm just going to be a little honest. It is my fault that she tapped because um, I'm sure she told you uh, we weren't communicated the rules um, at the beginning of the match, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, It's a miscommunication, and hopefully that won't happen again to another performer or to another match. I told Ruby because we our experience level is really different. And I could hurt her because I'm a, I am am a black belt. Like, that's not a gimmick. You know what I mean? Like, I have a, a black belt certified junior black belt in WTF, World Taekwondo Federation style Taekwondo. And I have experience, obviously, you can see Rio Naked Choke, like, doing WWE real wrestling moves. Um... So I was like, hey, girl, when we're practicing a little bit, we practice. I was like, you tap when you feel like I'm about to, like, get you out. Yeah, I was like, you feel like you're going to pass out or something's about to crack? We don't want those things to happen. You tap. Um, So I will just admit that was that. (laughs) That's not entirely my fault because, you know, again, it was miscommunication. Like, coach should have told us. Um, But. You know, at least she tapped instead of, like, having something broken and having, like, EMTs come out of the ring. Right. So, yeah, it was really, really fun. Uh, Like, we did a little banter, and I was kind of like, fuck you, you know, at the beginning of the match. Like, I'm going to get you. Uh, which is just really fun to have that persona of, like, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, we, we, like, you know what I mean? Like, friend, frenemies, even though right. we're really good friends. Like, you know. Uh, like I wore a friendship bracelet, the red one. Like nice. Just, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just wore it for this me- this podcast. Just to be like... um. So you know, again, like our skill sets a lot different. So it was me who was like, "Girl, tap when I'm gonna get you." Like something's happening. Um. So she tapped. I got her. She technically submitted. Got those moves at least. So. <laughs> I wish I was able to use a few other moves, like get you know maybe get her an arm bar and have her tap like that because I I feel like that's always like really good looking just because it's like like you know what I mean like the bodies are, right you it's know what I mean? like, well, yeah it's the crispness of the arm and the arm bar the t- the technique behind it yes yeah and it's just like because the bodies are like facing different ways you know what I mean I feel like it's very like theatrical looking and, and, and you know not that the rear naked choke is it. It was kind of nice because the, I think they're called Getty's images, which is really cool. Yep. Um, we were like catballing, you know, and yep. those like images really, I was really choking her, 
<laughs> yep. um, so I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, so yeah, like I, I was loving it and we stayed the whole time. We didn't leave till after because we, there's like two payment options. One was basically like, you could leave right after the match. And one was basically like, you had to stay and like get physical. Right. And we stayed because it was our first time. And we were like, it's the first time. Right. First, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, and it was at the South. I, please correct me if I'm okay. saying this wrong. The Sapphire Strip Club in Vegas. Yes, the Sapphire Showroom in Vegas. Yep. Showroom. Showroom. Yep. Um, and it was in there like, they had like an event center. That was like part of the strip club, but well, so which I got the scoop from an old person who lives in Vegas that that is a converted lifetime fitness. Like that's yeah. <laughs> yep. That's why the VIP is up there because it was the old track that people used to run. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Tidbit for those who maybe don't know that about the South. I didn't know that about the Sapphire Strip Club. So we stayed, we watched girls strip after, uh, got some drinks, supported the other girls working. And it was really funny because the strippers were like, you were in a fight? There was a fight here? <laughs> what? We, we work here and we didn't even know. And we were like, I, and they were like, what are you pretty, pretty girls doing? Are you stripping? Are you on break? <laughs> so yeah it was it was really really fun night filled with like a lot of emotions and a lot of like fun happenings so you know yeah I, I can't wait for the next one i know that i got the email about may 20 today mm -hmm. so you know it's unfortunate but i think he said july like fourth of july we're, we're right. last time I, okay yeah last time i talked to sean maybe fourth of july match uh, hey, so put it out there for yeah. the summer man nothing like spending the fourth of july with the lfc ladies that'll be really fun that'll be really fun um a nice summer fight yep nice and oily hopefully hey. <laughs> you know what i mean and yeah um so i'm just really excited for my next i don't know if you call it a debut again i think the debut is only the first time yeah um so your return to lfc yes your return your return my return um again it was really fun loved it can't wait to go back all the girls were really nice um energy up up to the roof so fierce loved it at costumes costumes were like ooh. i felt like my lingerie outfit was like compared to like everyone's like glorious costumes like well, I think what you had was really good, though. I think you and Ruby really rocked it. Like, the entrances from her dancing, from you showing that sex appeal. It was very cutesy, but sexy at the same time. I liked it. Thanks. I was like, no, oh, fuck me. It hurts. <laughs> um, well, here's the thing. is It was Valentine's Day, right? Right. So we did, like, I think she did red, and I did pink. I did all pink. I yep. mean, you guys remember. So I did pink lingerie. And I, I this is my first time for LFC, so lingerie fighting. I was like, well, when I think lingerie, I think lace. You yeah. know what I mean? So I did the lacy pink because it's Valentine's Day. So I did lacy pink bra and panty thong. And then I did that light pink fishnet, you know, top it all off, keep everything together. Give that little bit of fierceness because like fighting, I think fishnet sometimes like. So I got my fitting with LFC, which was really fun for my like, LFC outfit. The other week. So, well, yeah, well, check out Niche Boutique first and foremost. We got to put them over on Instagram because you were one of the many talents there. They got their, yeah. which Niche Boutique does a great job at their lingerie. Uh, they gave like prototype, like gift lingerie outfits. Like there were gifts, there were prototypes. You know about it. You know everything. Uh, <laughs> they were banging. They're hot. I'm actually kind of like saving it right now because I want to like debut it when it's like, fight when I'm like you know what I mean for a fight thing mm -hmm. also probably wait till I get the other one to, you know what I mean I want it to be like keep it on the hook yeah because I'm like it's niche boutique right niche yes niche I, okay they're amazing um Brandy May Brandy May yep okay I just I don't want to misspeak no worries um Brandy May amazing you guys probably know her amazing fighter amazing uh it was really cool to get fitted by her I was like this is an experience I have fought Brandy once years ago. So I was like, hello. 
<laughs> cool. Okay. And I was like, I get to have the hot brandy man, like this bodybuilder chick, uh, you know, touch me and like fit, you know, fit me. I was like, okay. Say less. Say no more. <laughs> yeah. This is fine. <laughs> And I think with Brandy, too, like you mentioned, like she's done a lot of great work bodybuilding, sessions wrestling, a very much a yeah. beauty internally and externally with all the adult work and the modeling work that she's done on her own right now. Here we are with Niche Boutique, right? Yeah, yeah, that's really, I mean, the cool thing about being a, a model is most of us are kind of a jack of all trades and or, or we do a lot, yeah. you know, more than just being sexy and modeling. It's like, no, we have like really cool talents, like seam, seamstress work, like design work, that <laughs> I tried because my ADHD, you know, I'm always trying new hobbies. That's just hard. The sewing machine is a really hard tool to use. Like, honestly, it is a, like, I have so much more respect for, like, my, my grandmother was a seamstress, and I'm like, this shiznit's hard. <laughs> like, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was a kid, I used to watch my grandmother sew. So please, I understand. My grandmother was very big into sewing. I completely understand. <laughs> same, same. I was a seamstress. She made my mother's like wedding dress. She was like, like that was her pro like yeah profession. I I was like, oh, she's, it's easy. She just pushes the button. And she goes, just no, no, nope. no. This that it's a machine. Yep. She's like NASA scientist, like anyways <laughs> oh, you're right there's a lot of detail that goes into it from the intricacies of how you sew and make everything look good yep i get it yeah so actually the cool thing about getting fitted and brandy may and she was like sitting there she printed so you guys i love see i sent a little well i i think i would call it maybe a questionnaire and i right. filled it out about the outfit and then uh i actually went online like on google and just typed in just some outfits and some wrestlers and looked at their outfits and just <laughs> screenshotted it and put it in the email and was like, I like these outfits. And they printed them, uh, Brandy printed them out and she was like, so you like this one, you like this one, you like this one. And then she was like, okay, well, these ones are kind of like these aspects of these outfits are cohesive together. So how about I take this outfit, put this on this outfit, blah, 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 you know, working her design magic up here really described it to me and I was like yeah I want that outfit like yeah like <laughs> I'm ready so <laughs> again I'm really excited for my net my return um especially if that outfits come because you know July is a minute from now so we'll okay. see. <laughs> yeah yeah well, I look at it from a stance too as well. And first and foremost, shout out to everybody that was involved with LFC 37 back to the match. It's such yeah. an amazing show from top to bottom. We had many great talents such as Kira Patara make her debut with the Bellator side of things, MMA wrestling. We'll talk about it here. What I loved about it, besides the fact of the 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 uh excuse me the sapphire showroom and everything that went into it especially with your guys lingerie i think what was great about it too is as well ruby took in a lot and what i love about the two of you is she learned a lot and i can't wait to see her back as well but that's the main thing just having fun and learning and i think how you both adapted to what you did and you trash talk we gotta talk about this trash talk not just before the bout but after the bout aj kirsch you were ready to fuck shit up is pretty much what you said you were amped man we okay we did plan we did plan that to a degree Okay. But I what but I was amped as fuck. Okay. Crap. All right. Um, I'm sure you guys can tell also like you guys might follow me, subscribe to me, like see me on other things. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a very animated person <laughs> to be hey, with. That's you. That's what makes you unique and you, Ziva. Yeah, exactly. That's what makes me Ziva Fay. That's what makes me the spider monkey. <laughs> um so yeah, I mean, okay, so I'm gonna be very honest with you. Again, I've been in the ring before, but that was my first like yeah, fight. The Official understand. showcase. Yes, showcase. Yeah, showcase. And um, I was so freaking caught off guard. And when I was like, yeah, let's fucking get me. Let's go. Let's do a round two. And then I turn around. And Ruby's gone. Yep. And they were like, <laughs> you know, giving me the cane. Like, yep. Like, and I was like. I was so confused. I was, I did, I'm going to be very frank with you. I legitimate, you guys can probably see it. I don't know how much is recorded of like the end. 
but you <laughs> i mean i look very professional because i'm like yeah but like you might those who like really watch a lot of my content you might be see the underline of the what the hell is happening right now and there's why am i being sh- what i do no i'm ready to go i'm ready to get her no 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 what i do don't shoot me off like i'm ready for round two like let's go so um i was very perturbed and confused and like yeah what's going on why are we kicked off Right. And then they were like, you know, she tapped, you know, like I said, it was miscommunication. And I was like, oh, what? Yep. What? Yeah. And I was like, I- I'm going to be really honest with you. At first, I was like, are you guys sure? I <laughs> Is that true? Are you messing with us? Are we going to go back? <laughs> is it like in like three matches? Like we got to win our turn now? right work i'm so confused <laughs> and then i'm gonna be really on like i was very i was just very confused okay. and then i was like we get paid still for like th- we get paid but i thought it had to be a certain amount of time and like but then are we gonna go back out <laughs> like i was i was like ow, 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 ow. so anyways right. then then yeah and the coaches were a little you know they're busy they're coaching they're like doing stuff so the ladies were so wonderful so shout out to the ladies um everyone everyone's so supportive um wonderful because i'm you know again i'm the new like i mean ruby's a true new mm-hmm. you know, get i'm just i'm just joshing you ruby <laughs> but um you know, like I've never been, me and her have never been to LFC. And even though I have fighting experience and ring experience, I'm still like, oh, what, what's the code? What's the dealio? What's the code here? Like, what's right. the etiquette here? Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys do it? So, yeah, the ladies were like, yeah, that's, that's it, girl. Like, yeah, you guys did great. And I was like, ah, what? <laughs> so, again, like, um, it was really, really fun, really cool. I was, again, like, really genuine in that like let's go to round two huh uh so yeah like I, at the beginning we planned that she would be like yeah and then I was gonna be like a little more because I am like truly a little more like <laughs> bitch like <laughs> you're, you're that bitch you gotta kick that dirt off your shoulder here I am this is me boom I like it right right into the forefront yep yeah because like ruby um she actually doesn't have any um that was her like literal fighting debut on screen Mm -hmm. she has so she has one fighting video that she's done with me one or two that like so i they're my you know so you can find them on my clip store right and then we actually um which i believe she used again you know more than me i i'm getting with the whiff slowly um i know you know that no i believe she was with um, LFC I don't think she's with anymore but she might so we trained the day after maybe it was two days after with Agatha Delicious yes the former Agatha Cannibal Carter and LFC absolutely yes so we did like put in the like Ruby you know the three of us like put in that effort and you know it was like me and Agatha you know because our so Agatha's MMA as you guys all know yep and I'm Taekwondo yep. so we're both very professional and we both have <laughs> different fighting styles which Agatha, on that side note, Agatha hired me very recently for a fighting video, and we went pretty competitive. MMA to Taekwondo, it is not really a fair fight because I was striking and she's like grappling. So once she gets me in, because I'm my 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 fighting style is all about striking, kicking, kicking and kicking and punching, mostly kicking. Mm-hmm. And um, for those who don't know, Taekwondo actually translates to the way of the hand and the foot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, there you go. You know that. No, I get so, it. Well, I get it because I think what's great about it too is, and I don't mean to cut you off, but look at Agatha yeah. Delicious with her. Like, dude, MMA, we've seen her at LFC. We've seen her in so many things. It's like, you have to look at it from a stance of she is just so amazing and so incredibly oh. strong from like the leg strength and just everything. Oh my God. And it's like Ruby having the opportunity to have a training session with two pros. Like, I'm not trying to be like, I'm pro, but you know what I mean? Like, me and Agatha Delicious, who have very different fighting styles, and we're like certified in both of our side fighting styles, like co- respectively. That's a pretty cool 
if I was Ruby and I was a newbie fighter, that's a pretty cool opportunity, you know what I mean? And she did a really good job, like, holding her own, um, you know, as a newbie, she was taking more to the grappling, because I, that's, I feel like what newer people usually go to, because grappling is more primal. Mm -hmm. Uh, straight, uh, Taekwondo, as you know, Michael, um, is all about form. You have to have that, like, and you guys probably could tell in the LFC, when I'm in the ring, look at my feet the whole time. I'm like switching my feet. I have a very precise form. That's actually one of the reasons why me, a lot of people are like, you're a good fighter, Ziva. And I'm like, because I have good form. Yeah, like, discipline and precision all wrapped up in one. Yep. Yeah. It's it, honestly my fight. It's not that I'm like, a, I mean, I am a good fighter, but it's not like I'm a great fighter. It's like, I have good form. Like, you know, and that's truly what translates to like, okay, she's a good fighter because she hit she hits the target i hit the target so yeah I, I just again like you can probably even tell my energy right now i'm just sitting here drinking on my spritzer talking to you yep. uh yeah my, my little health drink um you know about it and i'm just like ah all the endorphins like even just from talking about it i'm like let's let's go july <laughs> and then it sucks a little bit because as you know ruby moved to new york yep you're from yep but um, I'm hoping maybe they can help coordinate her coming down, you know, Spirit Airlines. I don't know. If... There are flights from everywhere nowadays. So. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, show, well, for me, like, like too. exactly. And I mean, she just moved yeah. to upstate New York, folks. If you're those who listened to the last podcast at Ruby. Uh, she's yeah, so congratulations to her. Yep, exactly. And I think also I told her, and I said this about you too, and I'll say this about you as well, with anything that you do, especially with LFC or whatever combative nature, make the most of your time because you always, it's a learning experience, but you're also making the most of your time. And I think with what you guys did, even though it was rather short, you made the most of your time and it was very entertaining to the audience. You put on a great show. Okay. That is actually really gratifying to like hear because I was really disappointed. I'm going to be honest with you. I was not trying to have a sour attitude. I was trying to have a very positive attitude, but like, it's hard to like, I know, again, Michael Michael is the all-seeing, all-knowing, you know, LFC uh, social media guy. Yes. Um, I've been a prospect for LFC for years. Yes, and then like, now you finally made your debut. Yes, correct. Yeah, I think, and I may be misspeaking because it has been, I have literally been a prospect for a few years, but I was a prospect before the pandemic, like right before the pandemic. Right. That was around the time I think the madness was going on with LFC. Yep. You're correct. Yeah. So like, and you guys were switching stuff around and I, I think that was like 2019. Anyways. So I've been a prospect for years, like years. And I, and girls aren't usually prospects that long. So I really stuck with it. And you, you guys had a lot going on with your business. And now I finally was able to like get myself wedged in, in a good place with the business. And I'm so, so excited and grateful. Like, to finally be here and uh that make like again that's just really nice and that makes me like really happy to hear it's gratifying that we make we made the most of our 45 seconds 45 seconds of fame right well i mean look at look at ufc i mean people talk about oh cm oh, punk yeah. when he was from wrestling right and cm punk stepped in there and he got killed but i look at it from a stance too as well there's a lot of people that don't have i'll say right now the intestinal fortitude or the gumption to want to try something because it's very hard the sport of mma there's a discipline to it but it's not something that's for everybody and i look at it from a stance too as well what i love about all you girls it's the confidence. Not a lot of people will want to go fight. Be in lingerie looks sexy because there's body confidence that goes into it. There's fitness. There's straight right there. That muscle. There you go. So, I mean, there's a Ooh. lot of it. Boom. I know I'm featherweight, but I still got something. Like, you, you guys, I, I'm a little, like I said, you guys know I'm a spider monkey. Like, you don't see it coming. And then it's like, Wah. right. Well, you're like, the Texas, well, you're like the Texas Ranger of LFC. I'm going to chip on come at you like a spider monkey. It's Talladega Nights. I see you. Yeah, because like my and again, a lot of you guys are have come to LFC because you follow me and you follow me from other fighting places and you guys know my fighting style. Like and you'll learn or if you're here from LFC and you're learning to get to know me, my fight you'll learn my fighting style more, hopefully in July again. That um I am very like again, I use my form, I use my taekwondo, I switch my feet a lot, and I'm very quick and agile. I'm a little like Put like a butterfly sting like a bee like wear them out a little bit and then once they like I don't know taekwondo those who know taekwondo are like they'll be like I know I see what she's doing then you kind of wait for an opening 
where they're kind of staggered in their movement you kind of like watch because fighting isn't just physical it's like there's a mental like strategy to it those who fight know (laughs) you know and like you're watching the other person and seeing their fighting strategy and stuff like that and you're like waiting for that opening and then once you get that opening is when you you can hopefully go for that submission right that's a goal like yeah so no, I equate, I equate that kind of what we saw in the semi-main event with Kira Batara, who, again, going from Bellator and pro wrestling and now into LFC yeah. when she took on Terry. Like, watching her just technique of just what she did, that's a great example of what we see just from the martial arts side of things and everything encompassed there. And, of course, Katie Forbes and Selena doing their thing in the main event. I think everybody had a great place on the card, and this is why I love everybody. Every bout has different moments and memories to it. And I'm going to say right now, just to promote this one's fight over here, if you guys go to the LFC YouTube, there's a lot of highlights right now of the LFC fights from LFC 37 back to the mansion. You all get to see Ziva and Ruby on the LFC YouTube channel doing their thing. So I suggest you go out of your way and watch it because it's really really good and i think it's my most please correct me again last time i checked it was at like 90k yes it's over that i think it's over 100 something k now if i'm not mistaken i haven't checked myself but i think you've hit over that yes it was like a week or two. it was i checked on my tour so it was maybe two weeks ago now okay uh and i've never had a video that okay right. i have one video that I did for a producer that's much more explicit. I tried something adult. I was like, oh, it's not for me. Um, those who have seen the um the internet, I'm a meme. They might they might know. Um, but that pretty much is the most viewed thing I've ever been on. That I was like, I really want to be viewed on this. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that's freaking cool. And I um I have a lot of fans that are from like not LFC. Like obviously they're on LFC now. But they were like my fans and they were like messaging me on OnlyFans or texting me or this and this and that, emailing, blah, blah, blah. And they were just like, how can I see your video? Like, I know you did this fight. Like, how can I see it? And I was like, I'm sure. Like, it'll be up eventually. Like, it'll, and, and people were just like, this is amazing. Like, Ziva, like, oh, oh my God. Like, so cool. And I'm like, what? So cool. Like, <laughs> like no. my 45 seconds? Like, well, you I should, did good. Right. Well, you should, it's it's like the Sally Field. You like me. You really like me at the. You like me. <laughs> yes. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But yeah, no. Really- And I think what's great about it too is as well, and I always say this about it, like we talk about making most of your time, like with what the LFC provides you, it's a little bit of MMA, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of clothing. So that aspect from the marketing side of things, but also the fact that when people get to see it has that wrestling appeal, whether you're in the ring and then you look back at it from the cage side of things, there's something for everybody. And I think that makes makes it wonderful for the product that we also put on for everybody that enjoys the Lingerie Fighting Championships product. And I look at you with being admitted, it's like, hey, I'm going to try something adult, but it's not for me. I think you really found your yeah. calling, what you're doing, modeling and wrestling. So there's yeah. something for everybody that everybody gravitate towards. Exactly. Like, um, again, I keep saying those who follow me because like you, you guys are going to get to know me more and more through LFC. But again, you can subscribe to my free OnlyFans or stuff like that to get to know me in other ways. I love being silly and loud and just big personality. And that's me. And, like, if the fetish, if the fun, if the sports thing is silly and loud and weird, I'm probably doing it. So, like, lingerie fighting, like, I, to me, it's, like, a no-brainer. You know what I mean? I'm, like, yeah, like, I want, I was born for this, like. (laughs) <laughs> so I, I get it and that's that's i think that's the mindset that a lot of people have it's like they when we talk about finding your calling some people are born for this and what i also do like about it that you said there is like a lingerie fighting a lot of people they see the letter l as i'm putting the l up there they see l and they look at lingerie and, and the people kind of turn away because it's like oh god it's women rolling around in lingerie you know there's that stink yeah. to it but i think what we need more nowadays is what we get to see with so many different facets of life more people need to open up their horizons, open up their minds, and they get to see it for the art form and the craft that it really is. Yeah, like, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, on that note, some people might be like, oh, like, they might think it's, like, softcore porn. Yep, that, that's been the thing for years. Everybody that's seen LFC, they're like, is it porn? No, no, no. Yeah, it's you're like, porn. no, it's sports. It's, inter- sports it's literally categorized. Just, it's literally ca- categorized. Yep. Sorry, big word. Hey. I'm a model, big word. <laughs> no worries. Um, as sports entertainment right so it's sports entertainment all y'all like sports entertainment so it's like exactly and also like 
this is what I explain to people a lot when people are like, fetish can't be clothed. What are you talking about? And I'm always like, honey. Honey. Okay. What's your favorite TV show? You like Friends? You like My Name is Earl? You like Modern Family? Right. You, what, tell me. Tell me. And, they're, and then they tell me. And then I go, that scene, that's fetish on TV. That scene, that's fetish on TV. And they go, no, it's not. And then I go, this is a fetish. It's not an explicit fetish, but it's a fetish. Anything, it's fetish. I'm like, I go, there's a whole forum on Reddit of two broke girls, of the girl, the blonde girl, just the scene where she sits on, puts her feet on the coffee table and people screenshot that a million times because it's her soles of her feet. And it's a fetish. Like, I'm like, honey, you're, it's in your face all day. You just don't realize it. And so it doesn't need to be like naked to be sexy and like sensual and alluring. Right. So exactly. People need to like, come on. It's like, right. And it's like the stupid argument. And we talk about sports entertainment, pro wrestling. Oh, you know, that stuff is fake. And I'm like, okay, first of all, predetermined. And number two, you people watch the Jersey Shore. People watch Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Terminator, one of his most iconic movies. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a cyborg. He is not a robot. Okay. Like E.T. the Extraterrestrial. It's all special effects. Okay. It is not really a killer clown. It's based off a Stephen King book, but there's no killer clown out there that's going to come and like drown you in the drain and all this stuff. Like it's a movie. Suspend your disbelief. Well, and on that note, like two things. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, it's choreographed. But right. people do die in the ring. People right. have died. Yep. Uh, exactly. They don't choreograph dying. Right. Okay. Let's be real. Nobody does. Owen Hart, for God's sake. Owen Hart fell to his death off of a freak accident. People break their necks. Like, I can't even name all of them because there's so many. Mm -hmm. Also, like, okay, yes. It's choreographed, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm going to go, I'm going to agree with you for argument's sake right now. But it is so fucking difficult to, it's stage combat and like, doing stuff like that like it's not as choreographed as you think you're still fucking fighting and also like i explain to people like bro it's jazz and they're like what do you mean it's jazz and like you can't when you're swinging and fighting like that you're gonna have mishaps way more than you think of like what you didn't choreograph if that makes sense right. where you're just gonna actually start kind of fighting because the choreography is broken and now it's like <laughs> the show must go on. Right. I mean, you can't just you can't just stay put. You know what I'm saying? You have to keep moving forward in what you're doing. You just can't stop. And also, I'll say the obvious one as well. Take a bump. Like hitting hitting a mat does not feel like flying on fluffy pillows. <laughs> it hurts. It's so <laughs> exactly like being kicked in the chest hurt. Um, I can tell you from experience that like that fucking thing where you're on the top of the ring and you like jump all the way down mm-hmm. and like body splash or like do that little barrel roll thing. Yep. I actually don't know how grown adults do that because like all day because I'm like I'm pretty limber and small and like agile and fit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I'll break this is why people break their neck and die in the ring because this shit is truly dangerous and like it's hard. Like so mm-hmm. And it's like wrestling 101. It's like drop down, tackle, hip toss, drop kick, like the whole thing. And you do that constantly in rotation in every training, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, exactly. So I'm like, for argument's sake, okay. yeah, okay, it's choreographed. But honestly, you ja- they jazz it so much that it's like, not as much as you think. And also like, yeah, sure, it's choreographed. But also like, you're still fighting. You're still fighting. Like, here's the thing too. Um, for those who are martial artists, who maybe like maybe your taekwondo artist uh, like me, there's things called the harangui and pumse, which are choreographed fights. It's the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, and those are like professional choreographed fights in like martial arts. So it's like it's the same thing as like wrestling and all that. You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, in the history, I'll, I'll equate LFC to this. I mean, for those who've seen some of the injuries in LFC, Jenny Bloody Valentine, a.k.a. Jennifer Thomas, got a nice little liver shot from LFC back in Slovakia at LFC 24 Eurobash. I mean, Monica Flowerbaum Garcia has accidentally taken a back elbow and got a bloody nose. Terry's feisty fist London has broken her ribs. So it happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, it happens. 
Okay, see, I'm telling you. I've literally had a falling out with a model because she cracked her ribs because she didn't tap. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, we can't do a match because your ribs are cracked. And she was like, no, we got to do this match. And I was like, no. No, your ribs are cracked. Your ribs are cracked, safety first, then teamwork. <laughs> but, you know, the, she thought I was talking about her money, but I, I actually was caring about her health. But it's okay. People's perspective is their own thing. But like, I, exactly, it's like, this shit's real wrestling is i guess fake as you want to think it is and say it is it true mm -hmm. <laughs> people get hurt people die people get hurt people die uh you just send a bunch of models who things happen to them i mean i haven't gotten seriously injured seriously but i've had like broken pinky toe and like scratches and stuff like that and like that broken thumb like you know the phalanges i'm like that sucks like oh actually no stand corrected i was doing a competitive wrestling match and i'm featherweight as you guys can all know and tell against somebody who's heavyweight and i hyper extended the three toe these three toes i hyper extended oh, it. Man. it hurt really bad actually and i actually had to go to physical therapy for like four or five months because what happened is we were grappling and I'm hoping that the camera will follow me right now <laughs> it is cool we were grappling and my foot got caught and we were like this underneath sorry that's the case the stand and I was like on, you know on my back and it got caught in his armpit oh man my foot got yep got caught in his armpit and when he just got up and like moved it just rent it just wrenched me you know what i mean because he kind of didn't even know my my foot was in there so like <laughs> you get injured you get like, injuries that they happen oh yeah i think for me like the only time i really got injured was this finger will never be the same as this pinky so this pinky i've broken twice playing basketball when we were just passing just boom the thing jam basketball jam right into your pinky as you're dribbling and you're just you're the adrenaline's going you're playing the game and then boom you get a basketball right to the pinky. It's not fun, folks. So, yep. Yeah, it's the sports injuries are real. They're actually are usually pretty fucking severe, to be mm -hmm. honest. And yeah, they are. Um, that's why there's sports medicine. It's like its own thing. Yeah. Because sports injuries are so severe. And there's actually like, you know, we have, this is like the first generation where they're figuring out like, oh, people who play football, like lit and uh, box literally have like specific brain injuries yeah, that so no it's... other people on the planet have oh yeah yeah CTE you know what i mean real. yeah cte is real everybody's looking into CTE. absolutely yeah like things like that so it's kind of like safety first then teamwork like i'm just uh, be, be safe be, be, be safe when you fight wear your mouth wear your mouth guard uh you know if you're new if you're newbie um wear your pads because they're like fighting pads like in taekwondo for example when you spar you look almost like a little marshmallow man. You have like headgear, mm -hmm. mouth gear, hands. They're like little. They're like little shin pads and like arm pads. Little thing that goes around your tummy. Like it's like little. Just type in Taekwondo sparring like college or high school, and you'll see like little little mish, little see the little costume. Uh, you know, and that's all for safety. So. I always say there's always an adage that I live by, especially looking at you girls. And when I was at the uh, LFC shows for 35 and 60 doing the ring announcing, I said to one of them, I said, always remember safe and spectacular. Apply yourself craft and safe in a safe way and do it in spectacular fashion. Safe and spectacular. I like that. Yes. Cute. Yeah. Very cute. Safe and spectacular. Yeah. Yep. Cute. Safe and spectacular. And yep. what is spectacular, folks, is LFC 37 back to the match. Check it out on LFCfights.com. See Ziva go absolutely buck, buck, buck wild after after the fight with AJ Lee. She's ready. She's coming. She's striking. She's kicking. Please go out here and watch the event back. And I'm going to say, Ziva, before we close this out, my little spider monkey, you are always a pleasure and a delight. And I can't wait to have you back on for around three. You're always such a pleasure. Thank you. As always. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. And it, like, I really like coming on these shows. It's really fun. I get to be myself. I get to jam out with you, talk about, you know, the fun fight hip hop news. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate your love and support. And I have a free OnlyFans that you guys can check out. Um, hopefully you guys can scan this code and you guys can see the link to all my stuff. 
this is where I am on Twitter. Um, and I'm Ziva Faye XXX on free OnlyFans if you want a little bit of, you know, a little extra, a little extra Ziva you... in your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. So again, thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm, you're so welcome. And folks, as I always say to end this show, Ziva's links will be in the description down below as she's flexing as only she can flex. Beauty, strength, and dominance, the three key elements that make women the work of art that they are. And Ziva Faye, my little spider monkey, I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Fight, fight, fight! Gonna kick some!